Hey guys, Resin Bell here at the Dollar Tree today. We're going to go in and see if we can find any supplies or tools for resin crafts and mold making. And I'll show you some of my favorites and we'll see if we can find anything new. Let's check it out. First up is resin craft supplies. Okay, a long handled lighter is perfect for popping all those uh, nuisance bubbles that come to the top and some shorter ones too. And in the crafter square section you'll find a package of 100 popsicle sticks that are perfect for mixing your resin. Don't forget to look in the party goods section. You'll find these miniature spoons that are great for dipping out uh, glitters and mica powders, etc., or for mixing sticks and a lot of other uses. Now heading down the home goods aisle, you'll usually find these little hang tabs somewhere on the aisle. And on those hang tabs, you're gonna find these travel dressing containers. They're usually just hung on these. There's, I've never found them anywhere else, but you have these great little silicone cups you just pop that plastic piece right off the top and then you can use a pair of scissors to cut along the top of the container and you have a great little silicone mixing cup for different colors of resin. Granted, you can get them cheaper online, but if you need one in a crunch, you can find them at the Dollar Tree. So in the kitchen gadgets area, you'll find these great plastic mixing cups. Apparently you can mix resin in these and once it hardens, it'll just pop right out of the bottom and you can reuse it. Also in the kitchen gadgets area, you'll find these really short kind of miniature silicone spatulas and spoons. These are perfect for mixing up larger batches of resin and reusing because once the resin cures, it'll just peel right off and you're good to go. Over on the beauty aisle, you're going to find these really cool little um, silicone facial mask applicators. They have this kind of curved edge to them, but if you take a pair of scissors and you cut right across the top, you have a nice flat surface for smoothing on resin on different applications. And don't forget while you're there to pick up some of these small emery boards for sanding your resin. In the cleaning section, you'll find some uh, latex or nitrile gloves. They're out at this particular store, but you can always use kitchen gloves in a pinch to protect your hands from your resin. And you can grab a bottle of baby oil to fill your resin shakers. Uh, that's a great price. Did you know you can get mica powder at Dollar Tree? Check out these LA Colors Loose Eyeshadows. These little pots have a little stopper in the bottom that you can pull out and you can dump that powder into another container and it works great for coloring your resin. Speaking of coloring resin, you can get these six piece glitter colors in the crafter square section. Usually there's different se uh, different sets of colors, blues, reds, etc. It's a great price for a lot of different colors of glitter. When doing resin, you always have a bunch of little pours from smaller molds. These are great little containers for, for holding all of those extra pour items until you can use them. And who doesn't need cotton balls and cotton swabs for cleaning up those small messes that we always make when we're resin crafting? Okay, back in the baby section, I always got to get a package of my number one thing while resin crafting, baby wipes. Always have baby wipes on hand to wipe up small spills. Moving on to silicone mold making supplies. Back over in the home goods section, all these little thin plastic containers are great for making housings for your silicone mold making. Any of these are great because they're thin walled and they have a lot of smaller sizes. You just cut the very bottom of that container off, you hot glue around the rim, and then you have a great housing for your silicone molds. Perfect sizes, every shape and size you can think of. Back over in the kitchenware section, I found something that I haven't seen before. These little Betty Crocker clear uh, measuring cups with the little spouts. I am going to pick up some of these for mixing smaller amounts of, of silicone for making my silicone molds. I love the fact that the, the uh, measurements are printed on the outside so the inside of the measuring cup is nice and smooth so you don't lose any of your silicone and mixing is thorough. The next important thing for silicone making is one of these cuticle 
uh, remover, pushers, cuticle trimmer tools in the beauty section. Very handy for trimming any excess uh, materials off the edge of your silicone mold, as well as other handy tools. And the last thing we found is some treat bags. These are great for storing your molds in. It's great for having on hand. If you, if you make molds, you can ship them out in these. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you found some interesting things you can find at the Dollar Tree for your silicone mold making and your resin crafting at a good price. Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the subscribers. You guys are all awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.